Yellowstone scientists fears exposed as earthquake hits region, can't he stop an eruption? Yellowstone scientists revealed their concerns over the lack of ability to stop a big volcano from erupting, adding that something must be done to take the energy out the system. The Yellowstone National Park was struck by a very shallow magnitude 3.1 earthquake on Wednesday, which was said to have been felt by many in the region. The region is home to the Yellowstone supervolcano a caldera formed during three big events the Huckleberry Ridge eruption 2.1 million years ago, the Mesa Falls eruption 1.3 million years ago and the Lava Creek eruption approximately 630,000 years ago. Every year, as many as 3,000 earthquakes hit the Yellowstone area, although most go unnoticed. While they are not an indicator of future volcanic activity, Yellowstone's seismicity is constantly monitored by the United States Geological Survey USGS. Despite this, some experts think there is more that could be done to protect the world. Volcanologist and manager of the Planetary Science Section of NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, Rosalie Lopes, said, the Yellowstone volcano has the potential to really wreak havoc. And Yellowstone Park geologist Jefferson Hungerford added that, currently, we as humans don't have the capacity to stop a big volcano from erupting. He continued, how would we stop an eruption? The underlying premise here is to take the energy out of the system that energy being heat and we can t do that right now. Researchers came up with such a plan to save the world from supervolcanoes like Yellowstone. The concept, which in theory would cost around pound 2.7 billion, proposed drilling into the hydrothermal system and attempting to cool the magma. But it was not received well by all. Yellowstone Volcano Observatory scientist in charge, Mike Poland, said, it is fun to think about, however, the science isn't either and the idea is fraught with other problems. Dr. Poland and Dr. Hungerford agreed that if Yellowstone were to erupt, it would be as a lava flow rather than an explosion, just like it did 70,000 years ago. They added that the best solution was to monitor Yellowstone's activity closely. Dr. Hungerford added, we observe Yellowstone volcano by looking at the swelling in the volcano, seismicity, gas emissions and changes in heat from the system. None of the signals come close to suggesting any volcanic activity is in our future. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to us on YouTube. If you like donate to us visit home on the page PayPal.